Yes, hello. Hi, JJ. What high school are you from? Tom Henderson. Tom Henderson. Okay, uh, what kind of question did you have today? A math question. Okay, good. Uh, what's your question? I want to know the percent change between 30 and 46. 30 and 46. Okay, so I have a question for you. Are you changing from 30 to 46? Yeah. Or yeah. are you changing from 46 to 30? Yeah, 30 to 46. Uh, the um, former. Okay, gotcha. So if you are changing from 30 to 46, really if you're doing percent change, what you want to do is you can set up a fraction with the amount change, and then on the bottom is the old value or the old thing. Um, and then you can turn that to a percent. Basically with this, uh, what you would do is find out how much is it changing from 46 to 30. And anytime we're finding out how much it's changing, we can do subtraction to do that. So 46 minus 30 would give us our change, which would be 16. You follow me so far? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's going to be our numerator. So that means it's changing 16 out of, and we're going to use our old value for the denominator, so 30. So you'd do 16 out of 30, and then um, you would change that fraction to a percent. So to do that, you could just do division, and I don't know that one off the top of my head. It is... So as a decimal, it would be 0.53, and then that 3 is repeating. So it would round to about 53%. Okay. Um, but the idea is percent change, you want to find the amount that you change. That's the numerator. Denominator is whatever the old value was or the first value, whatever you're changing from. And that's why I asked you to begin with, if are we changing from 30 to 46? Or are we changing from 46 to 30? Because it would make a difference, uh. um, that percent change. So did that, did that answer your question? Yeah, yes okay. it did. Good, good, good. Glad I could help. Well, thanks, JJ. Appreciate it. Thank you. Tell your friends to call us. Of course. <laughs> thanks.